Welcome back, art friends. I'm here with another fun abstract artist today, and this one is super messy. This artist's name is Jackson Pollock, and he is known for this crazy, splashy paint style. And again, it's abstract, so it's not supposed to really look like anything at all for real, just lots of color, lots of fun. So I'm gonna show you a super easy way to um, make a painting like his, especially if you don't have a studio or a place where you can just throw paint around um, with jars and paintbrushes, okay? So you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a piece of paper and it can be any color. I recommend a color just because it's kind of fun to have something um, already in the background, all right? Paint, and I um, used tempera paint, and I didn't put a lot in. You can see with um, a little cup or a bowl or even a little paper plate, but a little splash of paint. And um, next, and most importantly, a piece of yarn or string or even a little thin rope. And I have a, the end of the paintbrush, not the part with the hair, but um, in there to help me kind of stir it around and make sure the, the yarn is getting wet from the paint. You can pick two or three colors, whatever you like best, but you're gonna need paint, yarn, um, and some kind of bowl or cup to put it in, okay? So press pause and grab your supplies and then come back and watch this. It's so much fun. Oh, maybe an apron too, some newspaper to clean, keep it clean or go outside. All right, welcome back. I'm gonna post also a book about Jackson Pollock, but he is known for this crazy art and I really think you're gonna think it's fun. So all you have to do is um, carefully take your piece of yarn out of the bowl or dish and just kind of let it go on your paper. And I did that with my left hand and then you just kind of pick it up. And if you want to, you can even kind of press it down. That's what I did with my paintbrush. And just kind of wherever it lands, just let it be. All right, so you do that a few times. That looks pretty fun. And then you can switch colors. All right, so I'm gonna try the purple next. That one's gonna be fun. And it gets a little twisted up, so that's why your paintbrush is kind of helpful. And I'm just kind of dripping it down, slapping it down. This would be so fun to do out on your driveway. Because I know some of my art friends' parents would not be crazy about this going on in their house. Especially if you have a, a little sibling that might want to get involved. All right, so I did that a few times. I'm going to put it back in the paint, kind of swirl it around, let it get um, soak up some of that nice paint again. This one I made sort of a turquoise, a little bit darker than the paper, and just let it kind of go wherever. Wouldn't that look fun, boys and girls? Oh my gosh. I already did this once this morning. And I had such a great time. I can imagine um, being Jackson Pollock and just really spattering this paint all around. He probably has so much fun. Maybe you will too. So see, this one is kind of finished. I love it. It's so bright. It would look great, I think, in a frame. Um, and this one I'm just gonna keep working on. If your paint is thicker, this is tempera paint, so if it's a little bit too thick, you can water it down a little tiny bit and really just pick a few colors that you think will look good and see what you come up with. All right, just kind of slapping it down on your paper. And you can layer um, your colors over and over and over to kind of get a nice, um, bright painting. Okay, and when you're done, be sure that you post this 
I can't wait to see what you do. Some of you have been sending me some really nice art and I know you're busy with all your other classes, trying to get all that work done, but take a little time to make some art. It's good for your brain. It's good for your hands and arms and eyes. And it's relaxing for most of you. Look at that. Isn't that like fun? Wherever it lands, it lands. It's so great. And it's really not terribly messy. I'm sure your parents won't mind. Just make sure you get their permission and send me um, a picture of what you come up with, okay? And some, and all, some of you are um, sending in videos for the talent show. We're doing a, a virtual talent show. So make sure you do that. And maybe you wanna have somebody videotape you doing your Jackson Pollock painting. So send it to us. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I love you, miss you. And um, we'll do another fun abstract artist tomorrow. And tomorrow's will be paper cutting and gluing. So a little less messy, but super fun. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Have fun painting Lake Pollock.